All right, everyone, how are you guys doing? In this video, I'm going to do a speed test comparison of the new MacBook versus the old MacBook, which was released last year, and this new one was released about two or three days ago. So the first test is going to be a simple boot up test. Strange, um, this one made the startup chime faster and this is not the first time I've noticed this. Um, this one, for some reason, decides to be a little bit faster when it comes to this. So let's see which one boots up first. Um, technically this has a, a better graphics card, slightly better, and it's clocked uh, slightly faster as well. The specs should be on your screen. And yeah, this machine has indeed loaded up faster. In this next test, we're going to do a disk speed test, thanks to Blackmagic Design. Uh, let's see what the write and read speeds are of the hard drive inside. Oh wow. Um, so this one's 647, write 412 or 418, 430. This one's doing about 560 now. But even the read speeds on the new machine are faster. 935 versus roughly about 6700. So yeah, the new machine must be using a better SSD, or sorry, a better flash drive. That's known to be the case in the past where Apple chooses to change suppliers. Uh, so it can be a hit and miss. So you might want to go through a few MacBooks before you settle on uh, the right flash drive. Um, but yeah, I mean, the write speeds on, and the write and read speeds on this new machine are definitely noticeably better than the previous one. Before we go ahead, I'd appreciate if you can go along to iGear.com, take a look at the innovative travel and technology clothing, and help spread the word by liking and sharing. Thanks. This next test is going to be fairly straightforward. We're going to load up iMovie um, again at the same time and do some speed tests within there to see how it copes with video editing. As you can see, the new MacBook was um, slightly faster. Let's create a new movie. I've got the files ready for this as well. Okay. And let's import some media from this folder. Import media. Let's import selected. Again, just uh, a few seconds. I mean, there's a huge price difference between these two. You can pick this one up from the refurbished store from Apple. It comes with a year warranty for about £750 versus this brand new machine for £1,050. So yeah, whether that £350-odd is going to make your life that much better, um, only you can decide on that. But it is a, it's a huge price tag. I was hoping that they would come to their senses and bring the price of tags down. But Apple being Apple and uh, one USB, one USB C, and don't get me started on the FaceTime camera. So here we have a file which is ready to export. Uh, we're going to choose better quality 1080p. The quality is high, same for this one, and really this test is going to see which one exports the fastest. Because when you're going to be doing video editing, you want to know which machine can get the job done the quickest. So let's go to next, and we're going to save it in documents, why not? And let's see which one does it the fastest. So let's go on to show activity. And this one's saying two minutes, this one's saying three minutes. So we've got a minute difference already, um, which is nice to know. Nice to know your £350 extra for this machine is going to get you a minute faster. And, you know, time is money. Um, okay, maybe I've spoken too early because that's gone up to three minutes as well. But, uh, and that's gone up to four minutes. So I would still think um, there is obviously a, a good minute of a difference there. And 
but to, yeah, if my 5K iMac is right there. So this one's done. New MacBook is done. Old MacBook is still doing it. Because it says share successful. And that's gone up to five minutes now. Wow. Um, my 5K iMac would have eaten that, eaten both of these uh, alive. And we're still waiting some time today. But yeah, I mean, there we go. Now it's done it. So whether that is enough for you to justify spending extra money on this, it's entirely up to you. So this next test is going to be fairly straightforward again. I've got Pixelmator opened up and we're going to do some tests. Um, and let's see what the outcome is when it comes to photo editing or picture editing. So I've just imported some files. This one's done. And this one is now done as well. So yeah, maybe another a second or two difference. Um, so we've got this image here. Let's just apply some effects to it. Let's try this effect here. Yeah, there you go. Cancel. Swipe, that looks quite cool. Yeah, that's quite a nice effect. Eh? Who would have known? So you can change the angle. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. But let's cancel this. I shall come back to you in my spare time. Again, these filters are being applied roughly at the same time. There's not much of a difference, but where the real difference came was when you were importing them and the previous tests um, show this new one is definitely faster. So the last thing I'm going to do in this is export this at the same time in uh, Photoshop format. What I'd like you to pay attention to is the top right hand corners because this is where the file is going to be saved. And uh, I wish it gave some sort of status or activity update but Pixelmator doesn't. So let's see which one does. Yeah, it was virtually um, identical. Um, but there you have it. I hope this video really answers questions. If you have any other questions on the new MacBook or the old one, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you want me to test something in specific again, that would, uh, you know, leave it in the comments. I would highly appreciate if you can go onto iGear.com and help me out by sharing and liking uh, the social media channels and help spreading the word. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.